So first of all, congratulations and thank you for sharing this story. It's such a beautiful, heartfelt story. Thank you very much. I read the Esquire article and was so moved by it. So this started with you telling your editor how we are we don't honestly talk about that and in our culture and in movies, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. How did you know? That? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's well. Yeah, I was really just sort of ranting to my editor about how unprepared I had been to face mortality uh, alongside Nicole, and uh, I told him, you know, we we don't talk very often about death, and when we do, we use euphemisms. We talk about, uh, you know, my uncle kicked the bucket or bought the farm or whatever sort of other way of talking about it, and um, I I told him I felt unprepared personally and sort of culturally unprepared um, to deal with this and I wanted to tell people about a normal everyday death and, um, and that was sort of the genesis of it um, and I knew you know every story needs a hero and my friend Dane was my hero so I sort of centered it on him. Not everyone is brave enough to share something so personal from their life so what made you finally decide to give, give a green lit to this film? To the movie? Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to see it live on. I, when the story, the original magazine story came out, the response from people not just saying, oh, I really love that story, I thought you wrote a great story, or you know, those sorts of things. It was people writing in and saying, my daughter is sick and this helped me a little bit. And a lot of that sort of thing, and it sort of uh, gave me the sense that maybe the thing is helpful in a way. Um, that most of my other stories are not. And it would feel um, almost selfish to hold, hold it back. Um, um, I'm, I'm excited about the movie, but it, I'm also hopeful that it will you know, help people in some little way. When choosing a director, were you ever worried that it would go in the wrong way or how different choosing a director? How was Gabrielle's? How did she stand out from this? I was really excited about her because she comes from the documentary world, so I knew she would know in a, a more thorough way maybe than most directors, she would know um, how much it matters when you say something is a true story. Um, it's not a documentary, it's a feature film, but um, I wanted it to be true, and she did exactly what I hoped she would do. <laughs> she stuck to the story. Right. And you were pretty hands-on with the casting as well as the writing process, right? Uh, sort of. I mean, we all talked about casting, but realistically, I'm, I'm not so arrogant as to think I understand how movie casting works. That's not my field, so they handled all that, and they were very kind to let me sort of look into the process, but they did all that. The they actors do such a brilliant job of bringing to life the screen. Did you have a chat with them? Did you have any preference, like how they would portray such a sense? No, not really, because I, I didn't want to step into their... Uh, world too much before we started shooting because it's not like making a movie about um, you know Winston Churchill or some public figure where everybody expects like oh well Matt sounds and looks a certain way um, I wanted them to focus on the story and the emotion behind it more than like well how do I, how do I walk or how do I what accent do I have um, those things don't really matter and so um, I was happy for them to to just focus on the story and the characters. Has Dane seen the film yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was yeah. his reaction? He likes it, but it's a ba it's a little baffling to him that people say all these nice things about him and that people care so much about these three characters. Um, and uh, yeah, it's but he likes it. Yeah. They definitely should because we all want a friend like Dave now. Yeah, so yeah, like, oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing the story. Like I said, and it's it's. I hope it really reaches people as well. Do the stories too. That's Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.